most people in Canada think of birds, they think of blue jay or cardinal. Maybe the mallard duck, the chickadee, or common loon, or even a great blue heron. Unless you are being purposefully aware, most people don't realize the wealth of bird life that surrounds us. Over the past two years, my appreciation for birds has grown. I started paying more notice to their beautiful colors, their unique sounds and behaviors, and their overall resiliency. Possibly what fascinates me the most about birds is no matter where you go, no matter what habitat you are in, there always seems to be a certain bird species that is adapted to thrive there. In 2022, I was able to observe and document the majority of birds that breed in Canada, or ones that pass through during migration. This video provides a glimpse into the diversity of birds and ecological regions in Canada, as well as some of my favorite experiences from the year. Bird life in Canada during the winter can be quiet. However, there are a surprising number of birds that are year-round residents and can thrive in our frigid winter temperatures. Many far northern birds choose to migrate to more southern parts of Canada during winter, including birds of prey like the rough-legged hawk, short-eared owl, and northern hawk owl to name a few. During the spring and summer in Canada is when things really come alive. Hundreds of species of birds travel thousands of kilometers from the United States and South America to breed in Canada's forests, prairies, coastlines, and Arctic tundra. This year I was lucky enough to visit many of these regions at the best times for bird life. One of the highlights of this year was a trip to Point Pelee National Park in May. Point Pelee is widely considered one of the best bird watching spots in the country, attracting bird watchers from all over the world. Over five days in the park, we were able to spot over 150 species of birds, including what was likely the highlight of my year, the stunning cerulean warbler searching for bugs in a low-lying bush.
was also able to make a few trips to British Columbia in the summer, which is home to several species of birds that thrive along the west coast and are unique to the rest of Canada. While I spent most of my time this year bird watching in Ontario, British Columbia, and Alberta, each province and territory seems to have something unique that is worth exploring. While snow geese have seen huge population growth in recent decades, not all birds have been as fortunate. The State of Canada's Birds Report released in 2019 indicates that several bird species are declining due to human impacts. Birds are an excellent indicator of the state of the environment, telling us about the health of our water, air, and lands. If bird species are declining, it is often directly tied to the loss of habitat and food. Spreading awareness of the issues affecting birds can help us all to make environmentally conscious and bird-friendly decisions. Birds have proven that they are resilient to recover when provided the opportunity. We just need to give it to them. <laughs>